Hey guys, Bad Avenger. I figured I'd go back old school and do my video this way. Um, just want to thank everybody. I finally got to um, 500 subs. And um, I didn't even think I was going to get that far. I, I was just happy if I even got 10 people <laughs> to um, listen to me prattle on about books. <laughs> but like I said, most of I do it because it's fun. I like talking about comics. I like... um. I don't know, just being engaged in it. Um, it's been a part of my life for so long, you know, to express it um, out and to have people really listen to it, listen to what I have to say, even though I could be off. <laughs> a lot of times I'm off. <laughs> but um, for the most part, it's just a love that I have for <clears throat> a medium that, was with me uh, through the good times and the bad, you know. And it just means a lot to me that, you know, that people like to listen to what I have to say. Um, this video, I got so many books, I had to break this down into two. Actually, I could break it down into three uh, videos. I went on a comic book um I don't know. It's just so much good stuff out there, old and new, that um, I was just glad I had the funds to get what I wanted to get, you know. But um, let's get started. This Vampironica number one. I was up and down with this book. I'm not really impressed with um, Archie Horror too much. It's not my thing. Uh, but this was the best cover out of the bunch as far as I was concerned. So I figured I'd get it anyway, you know, Archie number one. Probably won't go too far, but eh, whatever. This book seems to be getting a lot of attention. Uh, Infidel. Uh, supposed to be really a creepy type of horror book. Um, I haven't read it yet. Uh, I may read it one day, but um, yeah, I picked that up. A lot of people are talking about Sideways and how good it is, too. I like it. It's all right. Um, and uh, uh, Newest Villain. That's in it. I finally found my copy of Mr. Miracle number seven, the B cover. <clears throat> this thing was hard for me to find. But like I said, I always loved the thrill of the hunt. And I'm thinking about changing my name from Bat Avenger to Bat Craven to Hunter. <laughs> now nah, I think I'll just stick with Bat Avenger. <laughs> All right, now, uh, I found a couple old bees, bee cover books um, that I picked that I picked up. I, I am trying to get the early bees uh, from Rebirth, DC Rebirth, certain issues of certain books. Yeah, I want the first maybe 10 or so uh, bee covers of them because those are the ones that were really, really hard to find. The ones that are coming out, the bee covers now, stores have finally started putting out almost the same amount of bees as A's and in certain instances you have more bees than A's but um Blue Beetle number 13 I picked that one up beautiful Tyler Kirkman um cover I uh, got Green Lanterns number 34 the Brando cover Brando's been doing a real good job on these Green Lanterns um his style is reminiscent of Frank Cho uh to me it just reminds me a lot of Cho Teen Titans number 17. Uh, it's look like a John Boy Myers uh, cover. I could be wrong. Titans number 21. Pretty striking cover. Um, Superwoman number 18. I think this is the final issue of the series so uh, i definitely wanted to get the last v cover for the um series wonder woman number 42 i picked that one up jenny Friesen cover detective comics 975 love this cover um uh, that's the kind of Batman that I like. The more mysterious type of Batman, the detective Batman. I like it. Okay, now this book. Now that uh, Kristen Wiig 
has been announced as playing the role of Cheetah in the next Wonder Woman uh, movie. Now is a great time to start trying to hunt down a lot of the Cheetah stuff. In fact, I think a lot of Cheetah stuff is starting to move. This one is kind of, in particular, it's really easy to find, but it goes in depth of the origin of uh, Dr. Barbara Ann Minerva before she became the Cheetah. And I think it's important because it's the rebirth of the, re the rebirth version of Cheetah. So this has uh, importance in her origin. So this might be a book that a lot of people are going to overlook, but should definitely be in your collection if you are um, into the Cheetah or into hot specs for movie characters, um, heroes or villains that pop up in the movies. <clears throat> Found these in the dollar bin. Deadpool uh, kills the Marvel Universe again, number three. This is the variant cover. And I got number four of the variant cover, which was really nice. Never got this book, but I saw it in the dollar bin. I pulled it out. Silver Surfer number 200. Uh, Michael Allred cover. I can't believe I found another one of these in the dollar bin. And... um. It was almost like it was right in the front. That's that's what's so bad about it. And it's the first appearance, unofficial appearance, of Captain Marvel before she showed up in Avenging Spider-Man. Excuse me. I uh, got another copy of The Dark Crystal, Jim Henson's, um, uh, like it says, epic fantasy. I got this kind of love to cover. Uh, Adam Adam Davis co uh, cover. Alan Davis, I'm sorry. Cover uh, with Looker on the front cover. I really dig that cover. Finally got the first printing of Detective Comics 871 Black Moon Jock cover. So I always had ones that I had with second printing. Picked up another copy of First Appearance of Damian Wayne as the adult Batman, Batman number um, 666, which is always nice to have. <clears throat> first com, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, Eclipse Comics, uh, it's the first appearance of Scorpion Rose. Got that for a dollar. Now, this this is just something I love. This came on TV um, one Saturday when uh, my kids were young. And it was like a two-episode um, show, and it never took off. It was um, from LucasArts. It was called The Defenders of Dinatron City. They showed it for two Saturdays. And I really liked it. I thought it was a great cartoon, but it never caught on. But um, Marvel did this comic book. And I thought it was only two issues, and I found the first issue. I already got, like, two copies of this. And I found a fifth issue copy. So I got to get um, three, four, and three and four. It may have gone farther than five. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I definitely did like that cartoon. And I, I thought it was one of the better cartoons at the time, but it never, never caught on. <clears throat> Picked this book up because it was just an oddball book um, from Cat's Paul Comics, Frankie's Frightmare. I never heard of it before, but it, it came out from, in 1991, and it just, um, when I saw it, I, I mean, hey, for a dollar, I just took it. I don't know if it's worth anything. I, you know, it is what it is. X-Force number 23. Got another copy of that. With the domino appearance. Picked up another copy of this. I don't know why, but I always like this book. Uh, NFL Super Pro. <laughs> Guest starring Spider-Man. Got another copy of Batman Shadow of the Bat. Bat. Uh, it's a complete set. Hasn't been opened. It's still in its poly bag. Picked up this. This is one of the older animes from back in the day. This is a uh, Gogo or Gago number 13, um, issue number one. 
picked up uh, Doom Patrol number 42 with um, Flex Metallo. I was glad to find this. I've always seen it, in, you know, um, on the web or in um, old um, books about comic books, but I never actually had it. Charlton Bullseye number six, the first appearance of Thunder Bunny. Don't laugh. <laughs> I also picked up the last issue of Valiant Solar of the Atom. I got this book from the comic book Legal Defense Fund. Nice rendition of um, Black Panther. Mark Brooks's um, variant for Princess Leia number one. I like Mark. Mark Brooks has a, 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 a style that's so realistic in his um in his uh, artwork. I mean, it's beautiful, and I like his sepia tones. He always his works are always in like a a reddish brownish sepia tone. Uh, found some older books. Uncanny X Men number one forty, featuring Wendigo. Who is actually uh, another version of Wendigo is in the current Weapon X book, uh, issue number one. That's out. Got one of the Whitman variants for Avengers number 164. It's pretty cool. Now, this one. If y'all been watching Jessica Jones, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but. It's time to really think about this character right here, um, Hellcat. Because by all indications, she may be popping up in the next um, season of Jessica Jones. I, I don't know, because that show is kind of um, slow rolling, you know. Um, but Patsy Walker, um, things happen in, this, um, in the show that are leading up to that. So, I mean... Something to keep your eye on. Now this. This book here, I have never seen it before. And because of this cover, I went and got the book. I opened this book up, and this book is glorious. I mean, hands down, one of the best books out there. And I can't believe it's not from the big two. And I give this one... A double super duper ovation. Now my job is to go back and find the first series of this book. Um, and to fill in. I found the first issue of this. This is the second uh, volume of this book. The first volume has already came and gone. I didn't even know about it. This book here. Squariers. Number three. This book is beyond beautiful. I have, I mean, I opened this book. I was like, okay, I'm going to get this because uh, everybody's talking about how beautiful the cover is, which it really is. But the cover can't even compare to what's inside of this book. And, you know, they said it, the, the artist and the writer or whatever, they take a long time putting this book out. I understand why. I really, really do. In fact, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Oh, Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Only thing I can say about this book is gorgeous. All right. All right. When you open this book up, you see the artwork, the detail. I mean, it's just beyond, beyond. You can tell this book was a labor of love. A labor of freaking love. Look at it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And um, for something like that to knock me off my feet, I mean, this book hit me like a ton of freaking bricks. I'm telling you, unbelievable. I, I mean, I, oh, there I go. <laughs> I can't say enough about this book. Oh, and I forgot. Encore, encore, encore. If you ain't getting this book, you're missing, I mean, you're really missing something. Truly special. Truly, <laughs> truly special. And I went back to one of my other shops today. And I was telling him about, he was asking me, was there anything in particular I was looking for? 
And I was like, you know, because he was sold out of this uh, issue of the third one. And I was just saying, uh, I'm looking for Squarriors. <laughs> He's like, oh, my gosh. He went on, I mean, a tirade like, man, I'm telling you, that book is good. He said, I'm going to tell you what, though. I have a book in my back issue bin. I'm quite sure it's still there. And he pulled this out. And I was on the freaking floor. I'm sorry, God. I, I mean, I can't, for me, this is for me. I can't say anything for you, but I'm going back. I told him if he can get me the first volume of this in trade paperback to get it for me. I'm not a, I'm not a paperback or a, a trade, trade type of guy. I mean, I do get some, like uh, uh, Earth 2, a uh, 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 series like that. Uh, but other than that, I'm more in the comic book. And I said, if he ever finds the first iteration of this in comic book form to look me up, I want it. I don't care if this book doesn't even gain a, a, a monetary value. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. And when you open a book up and you see why it took so long and you understand why it took so long for it to come out, it, it, it just, I mean, this book is just beautiful. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm st I'm not gonna keep ranting on this book, but check it out. For if you can get a copy of the third issue, check it out for yourself. Give me some um, feedback on it. Let me know. Tell me if I'm crazy uh, or it's time for me to hang it up. <laughs> but I am nuts, gaga, whatever you want to call it, over this book. And um, that's all I'm going to show. I'm not going to even go into my. Um, other uh, stack, but I am going to show because I'm going to have a 500 subscribers um contest coming up. I'm just waiting for some stuff to happen first, then I'm going to announce. But I'm going to show one of the prizes that um will be included in in the contest. Let me move this out of the way. It ain't much. I mean, it's not much, but I mean, it's part of my appreciation for. Being around and really promoting my um my website and listening to some of the crap that I uh, utter out of my mouth, but yeah, I I went to my Walmart and I was like I'm going in the toy section and I, I guarantee you it won't be a Thanos in there and I walk back there and right in the front <laughs> Thanos. But the bad part about it was not only was it that one. There's another one. I picked them both up. But I'm keeping one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm keeping one. <laughs> but the other one will be a prize. This one will be a prize. And um, a host of uh, a few other um, prizes that I'm going to give out. And I'm trying to debate. Am I going to make this a contest or just do it randomly by picking names? Me, I like doing contests for y'all guys. I know. Y'all might be tired of me and my contest. But um, give me some feedback. Let me know what y'all want. You want to straight up pick, pick the rabbit out of the hat, or do you want me to give y'all a uh, contest where you got to do a little bit of thinking? All right, guys. Bad Avenger. Like I said, thanks to all of y'all. Thanks to uh, uh, um, uh, the people that stay in, in close contact with me. Uh, y'all, uh, I treasure each and every one of y'all. I treasure each and every one who signed up. And... Every time y'all leave a comment, I try my best to uh, answer. It might be a quick answer, but I try to answer because I don't want anybody to feel that they're left out when they... If you can watch my video, I can take the time to answer or, or say thank you for a response, you know. Now, once I get up to, if I get up to a thousand plus and I get it like about a hundred comments, it's going to take a while. But um, other than that, you know, it's it's like a, it's like like I said, it's like a family thing, and I I, I really enjoy it. This is Bad Avenger. I am out. Y'all guys have a great one, and I am, I, I, that's all I can say. I am out. Y'all guys be good. Bye.